Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Florida has 20 critical wildlife areas. Most were created in the 70s and 80s, but as the state's population grew, bird nesting areas were mostly left behind. Until now. The Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission will vote on creating 10 new sanctuaries and expanding five existing locations. Both regulators and conservationists say this about the vote. This is a big deal. This is pretty huge. Audubon calls the action long overdue, but something few will even notice. The biggest change is how the public knows they're approaching one of these critical wildlife areas. What these will do is make it possible to post signs in the water around the islands so that people are advised not to get closer than that so that the birds will be able to nest successfully. So if both conservationists and regulators agree that this is a big deal, why has it taken decades for an expansion? There's been a period of time where we sort of didn't use this conservation tool. I think it's been a little bit rediscovered by this commission. Uh, they approved two in the last few years and they've been very successful. And I think that uh, caused them to think, well, we need some more. And, and while out of favor for several decades, it is a tried and true method of protecting birds. These are very targeted, very modest protections with really big benefits. Invading the birds' privacy in a critical wildlife area is a misdemeanor, but FWC says once established, the regulations are almost universally obeyed. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Masalinda.